Hi, this is a walk around of a scratch built World War II Russian fighter plane called the Polykarpov 185. Uh, I'll start off, it's got an Anchang 9 cylinder air cooled engine, 623 cubic inch, about 10 litres. Standard Anchang prop. It's got uh, three sets of three exhaust pipes, all two inch, three either side and three down the bottom. Up there you can see the pneumatic starter. There's the compressor, right hand Maggie, oil pump, fuel pump, fuel filter. On the back of the firewall is the oil cooler, oil filter, facet fuel pump. The wiring is very messy because all this is at the moment is getting it ready just to start it up, which we've already done. There you can see the 20 litre oil tank on top, aluminium. 125 litre fuel tank. That'll probably be changed to an aluminium one. Here's the back of the back of the dash. Only got the engine management gauges in at this stage. And the uh, engine management switches. There's the hydraulic switch which operates a hydraulic pump which is for the retractable undercarriage which is un underneath the seat. It's got a manual override. As you can see the seat's quite upmarket, straight out of the kitchen. There's the engine management gauges. This is a little um, bottle or compressor tank bottle for the air starter. You see all the, all the linkages. Control surface linkages are aluminium rods, no cables. Tail wheel is a Matco 6 inch, set up on a trailing arm with a couple of shock absorbers off motorbikes. That system seems to be working reasonably well at this stage. There's part of the tail feathers. The, uh, a lot of the metal parts have already been made. Elevators and so on there inside. You can see over there there's the fiberglass engine cowling. A couple of wings that I made earlier. Fuselage is made from 4130 chrome moly steel. Uh, these are 40 millimetres in diameter, 1.6 mil wall section. They're rolled in a mandrel but welded. And the longer ones have been cut through or been fed through notches in the bulkheads and then all welded. Got cross spacing down both sides. There's the uh, compressor bottle gauges and taps. All compressor lines, air lines are rated to uh, 3000 psi, same as the hydraulic system. There's your engine, engine control cables and levers. Another shot at the back of the firewall, share of sparks, a little box there. Another shot of the pipes on the, uh, on the port side. Inside you can see the left Maggie, a bit more of the pneumatic system. A little automotive primer pump which will be changed. Fuel filter, oil pump, fuel pump, carby. Taco generator. If you look under here you can see where the cutouts are for the um, undercarriage, the hydraulic pipes for the undercarriage. Undercarriage struts are made from 310 Cessna. I've got 300mm extensions to make them fit the same as the um, original aircraft. And amazingly enough the tyres, the 310 tyres, scale down exactly to what they were on the, uh, on the original aircraft. I'll just take you around here. Here's a set of plans that I used. Got them off the net. This is not a very good photograph, but that's a shot of aircraft off the net. I ran out of ink. Anyway, that's about it. So at the moment, um, I put in 5,000 hours. Been, uh, that's over a three year period, $40,000.
I've enjoyed every minute of it.